What's up guys? We're having a great time on this bow build. The sinew took so, so long to dry. First I had it in here and there's no wind in this garage. I don't think it was drying because of that. So I took it outside and left it outside for a while and it didn't dry outside either I think because of all the rain and it was so humid. So I brought it into the air conditioner, air conditioned. I brought it into the air conditioned I brought it into the air-conditioned environment. That's what I'm looking for. It dried out because I think it took all that humidity out of the air. I left it alone for three weeks. The sinew finally dried, so we're getting back to working on the bow. I feel like this whole bow is just held together by glue, and it kind of is with the handle glued on and the sinew on the back but I have more confidence in these glue-ups than I have any other before, and they're holding together really well by floor tailoring it and stuff, so I'm just excited to get back on this project. So let's get right to it. We are making some awesome progress on this bow. These transition lines are looking really good between the sinew and the bow. I'm not seeing any separation. The same thing with the laminated handle. I feel like this bow is held together by glue, which can make me nervous because as you guys know, I've not had the best success with glue in the past, but it's working good so far. I've got it to brace height and right now it's probably at 60 pound draw. I've only drawn it back to 45 pounds and that's at 23, 24 inch draw length. So I'm gonna take a little bit more off the belly of the bow to make it a little bit weaker. But before that, I'm gonna get to working on the handle. It's still bulky, it's still super uncomfortable, it's still very ugly, but we're gonna make the handle look very fantastic, very pretty, and very cool. We're getting really close, so let's knock out this handle real quick, and I'll finish up the tiller on the belly, and we'll get right to shooting this bow. We're gonna test out the speed, and we're gonna see how it performs. So let's get back to it.
it's sweet, it's super sweet. This bow, man, it like tastes good, like I can feel it. It's like a cherry limeade after a full day of roofing or something, like, woo. And I'm about to shoot it. All I've got left is to throw the serving on and some felt for the arrow rest. And I think that's it. Oh, clip a knocking point on and then I'm gonna be able to shoot it. I think this is the strongest bow I've ever made and also, I believe it's probably gonna be the fastest shooting bow. I'm really excited about it. I've only shot it in the garage so far, so I haven't shot it any distance at all. This is gonna be really fun, so check out this bow. See, this bow's got some get up to it. Here, just listen from 10 yards real quick. Anyway, this bow is pretty stinking sweet. And recap, we laminated plywood to the handle. Now that's crazy that that's worked and that it's holding. We send you back to the bow. This is the first bow I ever hunted with. I shot a deer with this bow five years ago and a lot of set occurred and stuff. And so we redid the whole thing. This is the third and final video we made about this bow. Now I'm not gonna put this one on the shelf. I actually am giving this bow to Garrett and I am pulling into his house right now and he has no clue I'm here. But I can't talk or anything because I don't have time. So let's grab this bow real quick. Rest in peace. I hope he finds that bow before anyone else does. And as you guys know, I kind of owed him a bow. You got the bow? What, what bow? Dude, no, you, I don't have Where's a bow. Where's the bow at? Dude, no. <laughs> ah! So, Garrett, enjoy that. Hey guys, I've been practicing my shot a lot. Before you go, check this out. So, I did want to say thank you to all of you guys. I've had a lot of you guys leave awesome comments and so many of you know way more than I do about bow making and archery and stuff. So I've gotten so many good tips, so many cool ideas. I think I'm gonna make some really cool bows here in the future. So this is the target we made a little while ago and you can see how worn out this is. Now this is about 3,000 shots. The cool thing about this target is I can just flip the cardboard around, put new cardboard in the center, reface it and I'm good to go. But also, also the backside, I can flip it around and use that perfectly good target so this thing's been a beast and it's been awesome just wanted to give you an update on that and again as always thanks for joining me you guys have a great day it's done it's done the bow's done I got a bird about to crap on me Hey, leave me alone. Airplane, just trying to get in the shade. It's loud out here. <laughs>